Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're thinking pink today. We're thinking pink with Westman Atelier's newest uh, Super Loaded Tinted Highlighter in Peau de Rosé. We've got Rowan's newest eyeshadow pal palette, the 1111 eyeshadow palette. And we're gonna do some comparison swatches. We're gonna see the Westman Atelier highlighters against each other, the warm palette from Rowan against this new palette, the 1111 palette. So we've got some things going on. Got a lot, mostly my face is Westman Atelier right now. So if you wanna see what's going on, you wanna see some swatches, you wanna see what this cute thing is on my head, just keep watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it when you do, and I really do mean that. Let's jump in. All right, y'all. If you don't know, if you've not seen my videos before, Westman Atelier is a top brand for me. I probably use their products more than any brand. It just seems to work perfectly with my 40 something year old skin. So anytime I do a Westman Atelier video, I'm excited. So just in a second, we're going to get to the beautiful new super loaded tinted highlighter in Peau de Rosé. We're gonna do comparisons with the other two highlighters. That's in a bit. And speaking of rosé, that's the theme for today. Got on pink. This is as much pink as you'll ever, 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 ever see me in. But this is Dusty Rose, so we're okay with that. And today I'm wearing our Breezy Tea Dusty Rose Boho Head Wrap. This one is like the color of the season. This is a very popular color for us this spring and it's a long piece of fabric. You fashion it into any style you want. Super chic. There's a silkiness to the fabric, gives it an elegant touch, and they come in lots of colors, and they're awesome. Stretch, do what you want with them. To see any of our boho head wraps, just visit us at breezytea.com. Now let's get into these eyes, and then we'll get back to Westman Atelier. So first up, we have the Rowan Beauty 1111 Eyeshadow Palette. This is the best shot. I'm trying to get a good shot so you can see the rosiness of the colors in the palette, the light reflecting on it, off it, is making it a little tricky. But it's a super rosy palette. But when I first saw the pictures, I've done a video on their 75 degree palette. Rowan is about, the brand is about a clean beauty brand that's about a year old. So this is their third, the 1111 palette is their third uh, eyeshadow palette. And I did the 75 degree palettes. When I first saw the pictures, I was unsure that it looked super close to the 75 degree palette. It did. But when I saw it in person, you can see that it's much rosier than the 75 degree palette. There's a cool palette. And then the 75 degree is the warm palette. And then this one is a nice spring palette. Something else that I talked about in my last video, these have a bit of sparkle. It's the most interesting formula. Uh, when blended out, it wasn't overwhelming at all. And I never felt um, kitty, which is what I always think when I think of glitter, um, too much glitter. So I didn't feel overwhelmed by glitter. I really like how it sat on my eyes. So that is why I went ahead and got this 1111 palette. There's another reason, that is my birth date. I was born on 1111, so. They're speaking to me. I gotta grab this palette. And I really like the color story. So what I'm gonna do is get this on my eyes, we'll come up with some sort of look, and then I'm gonna show a comparison between these swatches and the 75 degree swatches so you can see the difference. of things. If yours is a sparkle glitter free zone, this is not going to be the palette for you. If you have, if you just don't like it at all, it's just not. There's sparkles in there. There's glitter in there. They are in varying degrees. They're not all the same. There are a couple that are a little chunkier. 
couple that are more refined, but when you use your finger, you have really good control over it and it smooths out because of that creamy texture. It smooths out in a way that uh, a powder just wouldn't. So I give them more rope with this because I have more control using my fingers. Now, I went in with the brush on one side and my finger on the other just so you could see what's possible in terms of building up color. This is much more intense on this side and this is not how I would ever wear it. It's too much for me. I prefer the more demure side with the brush. However, I would use my finger. I just wouldn't dig in as much or as hard and I get color on my eyes really, really quickly. Speaking of, love this for vacation. Love this when I'm running low on time. I find you could just pull an eye look together really quickly, swirling my finger in there, getting it on the eye, zhuzhing it up, and I'm good to go. Another thing, I only use three of the colors. I found this out in the first palette. With the amount of sparkle there is, it can get overwhelming and it could just become too much really, really quickly. I find at most two is enough for me. Two colors is more than enough, but I wanted you to see at least three colors together. So I use that gray color sort of as a smoky, a, a, a smoky shadow. And I love the color story. This metallic-y like slate gray with that deep dusty rose and that peach, beautiful. There is a lighter color I just didn't use because it, it's just gonna become Sparkle City and you won't be able to differentiate any of the colors. So brush, more intensity with the finger. I really like um, that said, I'm ready for the next palette to have some mattes. I'm looking forward, I'm looking forward to the brand doing something else. I probably wouldn't get another four sparkle shadow palette because I, I got the gist. I get it. I really, really like the formula. I have fun with them, but that's enough for me. So I'm looking forward to them adding mattes and seeing what that's going to be like. So here are the swatches for the Rowan Beauty 1111 palette. So here you can see comparison swatches. On the right is the 1111 eyeshadow palette with the rosier uh, color story. On the left you have the 75 degree palette which is warmer, there are warmer tones and you can see side by side the colors are actually not as similar as it might look at first. Okay guys, time to dig into the new Westman Atelier Peau de Rosé Super Loaded Tinted Highlighter. Now, one of the things I absolutely love about Westman Atelier is their attention to detail. It's just the simple things. See how this has a gold, uh, there's, there's a gold, uh, how do I wanna say this? Rim, there we go. There's a gold rim around the Peau de Rosé, but their first one, same black outside, the Peau de Peche has like a, a, a slate gray silvery rim just to differentiate, you know, the different um, highlighters. And then of course the uh, Peau de Soleil came in gold packaging, but just that simple little gold rim, really nice touch. And as per usual, super weighted, feels luxury, feels substantial in the hand. And they even have their logo on the mirror. So y'all know, I love Westman Atelier for many, many reasons. These come in a little pouch, like a faux leather pouch, and to keep it safe. And we're gonna just get this on my cheeks because I can't take it. So here's the rose swatched on me. Such a pretty color. I will. We'll compare the other two in a second. So I'm going to put one side on with my finger. Western Atelier, another thing that I love about them is that they're just age friendly for me. And I think it's because I'm Gucci, Gucci Westman and I are not so far off, you know, in age. So when women around your age group are making the products, are in charge of the brands and the products, the presumption is that they know some of the same issues that happen with skin as we get older. So they're putting the issues that they're experiencing into their products. So I just think these are so friendly for mature and maturing skin. And I love using my fingers with their products, period. Okay, this is really, really pretty. So yes, and the cream products, 
I say it every time I use a cream product. It doesn't, they're not, they don't hug onto um, anything you don't want hugged onto. Mm -hmm. And there are no harsh lines. You can just tap out any harsh lines. We don't know where the product begins, where it ends. And oh, did I mention it yet? Smells like summer. Love the smell of these tint, so super loaded tinted highlighters. Gonna put a little bit here. I love this. And these can be used as obviously highlighters alone, or you can use them as like a blush highlighter combo if you just want one thing on your cheek. The most subtle, sophisticated glow. I, I, I am gonna take a guess and say these products have to be like their best sellers. There's just something so lovely about these highlighters. They make me happy. I use them all the time. Again, the whole line is perfect for when you are a busy woman on the go, or right now, a busy woman stuck in your house. It gets me in and out. It's a, it's a heightened version of myself. It's not too over the top. Feel like me, always. And, oh, this is so pretty. Oh. I'm gonna put a little, just a little down the bridge of my nose. Not too much. Little here on the chin. And because of the ingredients in these uh, highlighters, you can use them comfortably on your eyes as a cream shadow. You can wear them on your lips. I can tap this on. I'm actually gonna put on their lip suede in a second, but we can try this out as a lipstick. We love a multi-purpose product. Now, obviously this color on me would require a lip pencil if I were to wear it as a lipstick, but it's giving me a cool metallic situation. I actually didn't put anything on my brow bones because I thought it would be overkill. So to tie in the cheek to the eye, I'll just put just a tad, just a little bit here, up here in the brow bone area. So we can tie the cheek in with the eyes. We are properly highlighted. Okay, so here are the three swatches. I don't even know what I have here. This is Paul de Rosé, Paul de Peche, and Paul de Soleil. Okay, so the more gold one, a peach one, and then the rose one. And I've been asked, and I've seen other people ask about the different colors on brown skin, and I wear all, well, this is a new one, so I'm just wearing it, but I wear the other two comfortably. You know, obviously the, the gold bronzy one is going to look really amazing on tan skin. To me, that gets a little boring. I don't always wanna wear gold. Yes, I know it will complement my skin beautifully. I have yellow undertones, but I don't always wanna wear gold highlighters. So I wear all of them comfortably, no problem. They show up, So and this one did too. So don't worry too much about that. I think they show up on brown skin, my brown skin, beautifully. Keeping with the pink, um, I was just gonna wear this as a blush highlighter combo, but I just wanna show you, I have Doodoo, the color from Westman Atelier, a brush, a blush, a blush that I love. And you can see how it works and complements the pink tones of the Peau de Rosé. These are absolutely some of my favorite blushes and they're color True Ket that I have reviewed on my page has become a surprising favorite blush of mine. I reach for that. It's the most subtle, it's about as subtle as it gets on my skin. I love it. I mean, I love that shade. And it didn't disturb it, as you can see. It didn't disturb it. But because of, like I said, the creaminess and the ingredients in this, even the blush gives you a nice, glowy, sophisticated, situation going on and these two can be worn. Lips, eyes, play with them. When they're good ingredients, you can play with these products. So I thought what better way to end the video with this magenta fuchsia shade from the Westman Atelier. 
lip suede compact. So super creamy lips. And I think this ties in beautiful with that doo-doo shade um, of uh, Baby Cheeks blush. We're done. We've worked pink in a way that I really love it. So happy with both products today. And I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. What is your favorite Westman Atelier product? If you've tried the brand, do you plan on trying the brand? Same for Rowan. Do you have any of their products? What are you thinking? Oh, and I have the Rowan um, eyebrow pencil. So clean eyebrow pencil. We've got clean makeup. Really lovely. So if you want to check out any of our boho head wraps, boho head bands, t-shirt hair towel wraps, scent line beanies, scent line knit beanies, depending on where you are in the world, um, and more, just visit us at breezytea.com. Awesome stuff coming out. I'm so excited where our business is headed. We've been uh, spending hours choosing colors to dye fabrics. We're designing prints ourselves. So we've got some really fun hair accessories coming out, luxury hair accessories, just and we make everything ourselves. So I'm just excited where our business is heading. All the information you need is down below, as is the link to my blog, where you, where you will see you know, close-ups of swatches, product pictures, all the stuff I talk about in these videos will be there, and I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now, bye.